All right, welcome everyone. This is uh, Anthony Smoke, and this is the third part in my uh, BI Basics uh, series. Hopefully, you're watching this on uh, anthonysmoke.com. Uh, stay plugged in there for other uh, BI Basics uh, videos. Today, we're going to make a simple Gantt chart in Excel. So, I've got Excel 2013, and you want to have your data laid out as such. You can have a task, a start date, and a duration. And so the first thing you want to do is you're going to go to insert and you're going to insert a 2D bar chart, right? And then we want to select data. I want to add a series. I want to add the start date. That's a series name. And then for the data, I want to enter column B and hit OK. I'm also going to add the duration for the name there and the column values, All right? And then last but not least, on the horizontal, we're going to edit and I'm going to put the tasks in here. Perfect. And then you can size it. I'm going to say OK here. And then I'm going to size it a little bit. All right, get those dates spread out. As you can see, the dates here uh, aren't to do not uh, line up to the start dates. So the first thing we want to do here, we're going to right click, we're going to format the axis. All right, and you'll notice that there is a uh, there's a number here. Uh, we don't know the uh, the minimum in in this number format. Basically, Excel it counts the number of days since January first, uh, nineteen hundred. So if you don't know that off the top of your head, just go ahead and put in the first uh, date of your first task there, and it lines up perfectly. And then we're going to go here. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go here. Sorry. And format the axis. And I want the categories in reverse order, right? So that way we have our project initiation at the top. Now, I want to select our bl blue bars here, go to fill, and select no fill. All right. And as you can see, our Gantt chart has emerged here. And all of this is dynamic. So if this is going to take 20 days, I put 20 in, see how it updates. And you can also make you know, call outs here. So I can go to um, add a data label, add a data call out. Whoops. Make sure you don't have all of them selected. Just go ahead and select one. All right. Add data label, uh, add the data call out. All right. And you'll see if we can move it there. All right, project completion. I can I can edit this. I can go in here. I can say phase project completion will be over in eight days. Now, if I have to add can do this you can insert a data label field I can choose a cell and I can say uh, you know just pick a cell and it'll put in the value review project deliverables um, was completed earlier All right that's just an example to show you that you can get values uh, from your setup over here in into the call out and so you know, you can size that, uh, move it around, but you get the point. So, again, this is a simple Gantt chart in 2013. Hope you found this useful. Again, anthonysmoke.com. Stay plugged in for more uh, in my BI Basics series. Thanks for watching.